Hello everyone. Today we'll continue talking about the Romantic composers. So the next one will be Johannes Brahms. 1833-1897. Brahms was a Romantic who breathed new life into classical traditional forms. His father was a string bass player. At age of 13, in the day, he studied piano, music theory, and composition. At night, he played dance music in cafes. When he was 20, he had his first concert tour during which he met two important living composers, Liszt and Schumann. The contact with Liszt was not helpful. Schumann, on the other hand, was to shape the course of Brahms's artistic and personal life. When Brahms played for him, he called his wife Clara, piano virtuoso and composer. They both were impressed with Brahms's compositions. Four weeks later, Schumann, in his twice weekly publication called New Journal of Music, published an article praising Brahms as a musical messiah. It made Brahms famous overnight. Brahms composed masterpieces in all traditional forms. He was an extreme perfectionist. Brahms was always friendly with the Schumanns, but particularly after Robert's death, he helped Clara to take care of, their, of her seven children. We don't know what exactly happened between Clara and Brahms because they destroyed many of their letters. We only know that Brahms never married after Clara's death. He said, Clara Schumann was the most beautiful experience of my life. Brahms had a wide knowledge of older music. He edited Baroque and classical compositions. He worked at his first symphony on and off for 20 years, and finally only completed it when he was 43. He constantly worked and revised his works, always trying to make them perfect. Brahms composed masterpieces in all traditional forms, except opera. His mastery can be admired in his four symphonies, two piano concertos and concerto for violin. He composed over 200 songs and some magnificent choral music, such as the German Requiem. He composed a number of chamber works for many different instrumental combinations. Brahms's works are in his very personal style, but in general, we can say that they are deeply rooted in the classical tradition. Brahms became a master of theme and variations. His variations sound completely different from their thematic source while retaining the theme's basic structure. Brahms's works are very lyrical and although they are in polyphonic texture, we still can hear the melody. All our voices are part of the polyphonic intricacies. All of Brahms's rhythms are exciting, often setting two contrasting rhythms against one another. This use of the beat two against three is known as one of Brahms's trademarks. He liked to use syncopation. His phrases are irregular in length. He liked dark, velvety tone colors. He also liked doubling the melody in thirds 
and 6 and to duplicate it in the intervals of 3rd and 6. A masterpiece of romantic choral music is a German Requiem. It was composed for a chorus, baritone and soprano soloists, and an orchestra. It consists of seven movements and lasts more than an hour. Brahms wanted to distinguish his works from the Latin Requiem. For this purpose, he chose texts relating to the death of death and resurrection from Luther's German translation of the Bible. And now let's listen to some of Brahms' music. 